Hey guys, let's start it. We are going to begin with a bunch of backstory from Johnson Nash as soon as we walk through this door now that we've reached the Vicky and Vance Casino. All right, let's get started. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, so I'd say. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over. But we couldn't turn down the cats. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I had in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Sounds like whoever that was set us up. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Apparently. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Well, that'd be Victor or one of the other I robots. Guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. That beat up old pile of bolts. What do you want to know? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hope to get it up and running for some courier work. But never could get it running. Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. <laughs> See Edie's laser cannon I sticking out the side of the screen. Better to be. Well, I'll answer what I. Well, don't let me put you out or anything. Jeez. Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Least ways I did before things went to hell around here. Ask away. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town. But then they got organized. Now they call themselves Powder Gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. <laughs> Little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Ask away. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them Powder Gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that, isn't it? 
I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Ask away. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Lori used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Lori. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old, old casino. Can't miss it. Ask away. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Well, you can call Beagle a deputy so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. Only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom if we'd had caps to spare. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like... Well, that just made me sound stupid. Who gives a crap what they're called? think you have what it takes kid all right now he is only gonna play me like five times that's his limit and then that option will be closed off I, I believe for the rest of the playthrough all right some of the caravan players will only play you a limited number of times so I try to max bet him basically just once here and then I'll uh, leave him alone and come back when his uh, re when his stock is re-upped and he should have more caps and then I can max bet him again I may come back and buy a bunch of his stuff so he'll have even more caps to bet me, and then I can get them all back, and maybe even bet him a second time. Depends on how many caps he has. But I uh, try not to get all five wins out of the way now, because the last three or four won't amount to anything. You know, 20 or 30 caps, 50 caps, or something like that. This first time, he only bet, what, 100 and something. So, you know, I'll play him once here, but I will come back later when... It's a little bit more profitable. I have some leveling to do between here and I'll say Novak. And I can come back here, see if he has any mods, see if there's some stuff I can buy. Buy everything I can from him then, then try to win it back. He's a, he's a little shiftier of a player. He likes to use the face cards a little more than some of the other players. He, he plays a lot like the guy at the, uh, the Ambassador, the NCR outpost on Vegas Strip. They play a lot alike. That guy's actually really good. He will use uh, all the cards in the deck to his advantage. I try to keep at least one or two face cards to sabotage his deck and fix my own because he really likes to put you over. He gets a kick out of that. But, uh, yeah. We took care of that. Three stacks to 21 will work every time. All right, so, uh, there's a few things to loot in here. First, let me, uh, get a little more backstory on this place. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Prem Slam at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! <laughs> Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Well, let's just make his day. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? <laughs> now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. <laughs> Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway. 
it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. Oh no. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> All right. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. <clears throat> <laughs> Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there are cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. <laughs> Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! He loves that word, premier. Happy trails, partner. All right, so we can go over here, and there's there's the, de the death car. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so Vance is going to supposed to be here, and, well, it's obviously not. Somebody has smashed the case and taken it. Now, that becomes a side quest in and of itself. It's not a bad 9mm submachine gun. I don't like the barrel clip on it. It's annoying looking, in my opinion. Makes it look like a wannabe Tommy gun, but uh, whatever. And the clothes are missing also, so we can look for uh, most likely a couple dressed in Vicky and Vance's clothes uh, carrying their machine gun. So, anyway. But yes, there's the death car. I love the way they gave the robot the slanderous little tone about the casino across the street. All right, so we can go talk to the robot later. Uh, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna personally make Prim Slim or S Slim Prim, Prim Slim, whatever. I'm gonna make him the sheriff of Prim uh, simply because to do so, you have to reprogram him and it's worth uh, some XP. I don't remember how much, I think it's 50. And uh, it's actually easier too. Just, you know, reprogram him and you're done. And then go turn the quest in and shoot, you're good. That's a whole bunch of XP for the quest and then 50 extra for reprogramming him. Whereas there's one or two other options, but uh, this is the one I like best. Turns out the best in the closing game story, too, also. Although as slow as this guy waddles around, it wouldn't be too hard to run from him, would it? <laughs> robots casually strolling along while the bank robbers get away type thing, but uh, a few safes here um, opening these things for the XP as much as the loot that's in them good way to get an early boost now, one thing interesting is uh, Mr. Nash will not buy your stolen stuff the things that you've stolen here from the safes he won't buy them back, so it's not like you can jack all this stuff and then go sell them right back to him. Okay, I'm really going to need to concentrate on, on medicine at some point soon. Next few levels, actually, because by the time I get to Camp Forlorn Hope, I'm going to want my medicine to be up. And it never hurts. It makes your stim packs uh, more effective and things of that nature. Rad away more effect, all that kind of stuff. So it allows you to do some surgeries, a bunch of XP... Even pass a speech check or two. And uh, yeah, maybe even beat a perk or two that require a high medicine skill. I don't remember. But it uh, doesn't really matter. I like having it up there anyway. And I'm looking for Ruby Nash. I don't see her. She will take rad scorpion poison glands and make casseroles out of them. And uh, they're, not, they're not as good as a wasteland omelet, but they're not bad. They provide some health, and uh, they really knock your hunger down. If you're if you're uh, borderline starving, just eat one or two of those, and you're and you're good. All right, so we probably ought to inform 
Prim Slim here that uh, the machine gun's missing, right? Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. All right, so I need uh, almost 20 more points in science. I can't get anywhere near... Well, actually, I could get semi-close. You just tell old Prim Slim what you'd like to know. No, I don't need to talk to him about anything else. All right, I could probably get it close with a uh, programmer magazine and, oh, I don't know, some Mentats, but not quite. I think I'd still be two or four points short. How's it working out for you? Okay. There's nothing I can say to him about uh, making Prim Slim Sheriff yet, either. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized Let's see if this opens it up. I don't think so. I think I have to get the deputy first. Yeah, I think that's required to uh, get the option to make uh, Slim Sheriff. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, see what this guy has for. So maybe he has some mods. Who knows? Been really unlucky with the mods, if you guys haven't noticed. It's it's been pretty bad so far. Found the extended mag for my varmint rifle, and that's it. There's been a few for some uh, GRA guns, but I'm not really worried about those. Although I will say the laser rifle scope is good for a laser rifle, but I haven't even seen one of those yet. So, well, at least he's got some magazines. Those are good. The ones for speech, barter. Uh, Medicine, those all come in handy. Lockpick, especially lockpick. Alright, now I'm going to need a little bit of weight capacity because I'm about to go uh, get a bunch of loot from across the street. This is one of the best uh, loot areas early game. It's because all the Powder Ganger guys over there are going to be carrying uh, well, a weapon of some sort. Ammo, money, all that good stuff. Alright, so... Uh, on the next one, that's where we'll go, is across the street. We'll go hit up the Bison Steve and clear it out. Go find all the hidden loot over there, that I know about anyway. And uh, we'll call it a day. Alright, so thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe and uh, like and share and all that good stuff, guys. You're definitely helping the channel grow. We are growing by leaps and bounds. Alright, and so for some more New Vegas, click that top box. For a complete list of all my video playlists, click the bottom box, and if you wish to subscribe and uh, support the channel and stay updated with new daily video uploads, then click that box right there over my head, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Alright, y'all take care.